Welcome to the Black Cave History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Proteus is the 2003 historic South African drama based on true events, one of the first historic documents on the African continent that detailed a gay relationship between two men, prisoners who were executed for the offense of sodomy in 1735. This film was written and directed by gay Canadian director John Grayson, and I'm so glad he created this work because it's likely most of us would have no idea about this African history if this movie didn't popularize the story. In this dramatic retelling of the tale, an 18th century South African prisoner falls for a Dutch inmate, an ex-sailor, who was convicted of unnatural acts with another man. The lead character, Klaas Blanc, is a coy black man who constantly tricks those around him to get what he wants and has been shuffled between prisons because of what he has stolen. One detail I learned about South African culture in this film is that even amongst black South Africans, certain ethnic groups had more social power and prestige than others, and because Klaas was a coy man, he was looked down upon by other black Africans. The more even-tempered Dutch sailor, Rickhart, tries to stay away from the chaotic clocks, but eventually the two start a rough and passionate relationship in the prison in secret. Because these two were meeting in jail, their first encounter was tense, and the two were insulting each other. The chaotic and braggadocious Klaas harasses the quiet loner Rickhart like a schoolroom bully, but we all know that bullies really are harassing the target because of their own latent subconscious attractions to the other man a dynamic that I'm sure is incredibly common in prison. I enjoyed the love scenes between Rickhart and Klaus, because though these two were chaotic, they were passionate. I also thought it was ironic and poignant that even some of the white men who were in power in this prison settlement, like the warden of vegetation and his assistant, are gay as hell, but there are other men who are serving prison sentences just because they got caught. I'm confused with the use of certain modern technology in the movie considering this movie is set in the 1700s, but maybe there's a reason the creators did this I haven't yet figured out. I love the passionate scenes between many of these characters, and I also love that this film brings a real historic story to life of gay men hundreds of years ago in South Africa who paid the ultimate price for claiming their love for each other in public and eventually would be written about in the history books. According to Wikipedia, this film sets out to ask the question why it took the prison 10 years to execute these men if they knew about this relationship all along. But it's clear to me that these men were sacrificed by the system to save face, sending a message that gay love, especially open gay affection that everyone recognizes, wouldn't be tolerated in white society, even in prison. Though this movie is entertaining, it is incredibly sad to think that this is in fact based on a real couple, and that real love stories have definitely happened amongst men but in secret for hundreds of years because of these repressive prisons we put ourselves in. According to historical documents, these two were drowned together for getting caught being intimate with each other, which is crazy considering we know how common this is in prisons even today. Have y'all checked out this movie Proteus yet? Did you know about this real historic gay couple, Klaus Blanc and Rickard? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.